Here, we're going to show a new Brain Computer Interfacing, or BCI, experiment. BCI allows for communication through the power of thought alone. In this experiment, we'll show, for the first time, an example of brain-to-brain -brain communication. More than that, we'll be doing this over the Internet. This means that the two people involved in the communication can be anywhere where they have access to the Internet. In this figure, on the left-hand side, you can see one person with EEG electrodes attached to their scalp. Their brain activity is picked up and amplified by the EEG amplifier, and is sent onto the Internet through the PC. The user is transmitting a series of binary digits, imagining moving their left arm for zero and their right arm for one. On the right-hand side, Another person is also connected to an EEG amplifier, and his PC is picking up the stream of binary digits off the Internet, and is flashing an LED lamp at two frequencies, one frequency for a zero, and another for a one. From the second person's brain activity alone, the PC is able to decipher whether a zero or a one was transmitted. Throughout all of this, the second person is not aware of whether a zero or one was transmitted, but the information is recovered from their brain nonetheless. For the remainder of this video, you'll see the first person creating a stream of zeros and ones through imagined arm movements, and the second person passively looking at the LED lamp flashing. The PC picks out the zeros and ones from the second person's brain activity and displays it on the screen. The video shows a stream of digits being transmitted and received. Notice that the sender can send at a rate of about one digit every three or four seconds, and the receiver needs a similar amount of time to decode the information. So what we can see here for the first time is the first person communicating over the internet and through the second person's brain. This gives us brain-to-brain -brain communication.